So imagine this scene. There are a whole bunch of competitive swimmers that are lined up on the edge of the pool getting ready to jump in. Their dreams are on the line. This is the scene that I was watching last night, but it was a very unusual scene. It's a story that you probably haven't heard. It's nowhere in the headlines. It's just one of those things that comes and goes and no one really notices. And yet I noticed last night. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened, and it was amazing what occurred. But before I do, let me just share with you a word that I looked up this morning that I had never even heard. The word is mudita. It's actually a Sanskrit word, and it means vicarious joy or sympathetic joy. That feeling when you're super proud and joyful for something someone else has done. Have you ever had that moment for yourself? Have you ever been in a place where someone else did something, they accomplished something, and you felt yourself full of pride and joy for what they accomplished? So I'm going to tell you what that moment was for me last night, but before I do, I want to welcome you. Welcome to Monday Morning Mindset. This is a chance for us to gather on Monday mornings to set our minds on creating extraordinary results out of ordinary experiences, because that's what transformational leaders do. My name is John Boggs. I'm the founder of the Business and Leadership Division of the Brave Thinking Institute, where I serve as CEO. And I love this story that I watched last night and how the transformation in this moment can serve you and me in creating great results for our, our own success. So the moment, they're all standing there. They're getting ready to jump in the pool last night as they compete in the U.S. Olympic trials. But here's the deal. Not one of those swimmers is likely to win a medal this summer at the Olympics. Not one of them. Because not one of those swimmers has ever competed in this event fast enough to even make the Olympic team. You have to complete this particular swim in one minute, 54 seconds, to even qualify to make it to the Olympics. And out of the entire swimmers, none of them has, swum, has completed that swim fast enough. And the announcers and Michael Phelps are describing the swimmers. They're, descri they're describing which person they think maybe has a shot. His best time is almost a second and a half too slow to even make the Olympic team and qualify to compete at the Olympics. But heck, at least he'll have the chance to say he's the best swimmer in the United States, even if he doesn't make the team. But you see, that's not his dream. This swimmer wants to be able to say, I am an Olympiad. I am an Olympic athlete. That's his dream. He's been working his whole life for that moment. And as the swimmers dive into the pool and they begin the swim, I don't know if you've noticed a lot of times on TV the, in these days, they've got this sort of graphic line that's following the swimmers and you can see whether they're swimming fast enough to make the team. And this swimmer is just ahead of the line the whole way down the first lap. He makes the turn and as he's coming back, he's just ahead of the line trying to make the Olympic team. And as he touches the wall, he has not only completed this swim in his personal best, the fastest time that he's ever completed this swim, but it's one one hundredth fast enough to make the Olympic team. He is an Olympic athlete. And as he climbs up onto the edge of the pool, his parents run down out of the stands and they hug as he has completed this lifelong dream. And I felt myself full of that sympathetic joy. I'm vicariously happy for him of what it means to achieve his own level of greatness. And why this story matters to you and me is right now we are in a study of Christian D. Larson's Optimus Creed. This idea that as transformational leaders, if we're willing to live in a greater level of optimism, that that power can help us achieve our dreams, our goals, in greater ways than ever before. No matter what's happened in the past, I promise myself today to be more optimistic because that's a powerful force. And so we are in a part right now in the Optimist Creed where Christian D. Larson says this, 
I promised myself to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as I am about my own success. I promise myself. I promise myself today to look around and find opportunities to be just as enthusiastic about other people's success as I am about my own success. You know, Stephen Covey coined a phrase called scarcity mentality versus abundance mentality. This idea that we might not be as happy if others succeed is based on the idea that there's only so much good to go around, that there's only so much opportunity, that there's only so much resource. Stephen Covey describes this idea of what it means to live into an abundance mindset where there's enough good for other people to create great success for themselves and for me to create great success for, for me. And here's what I know. Whatever I focus on, whatever I'm focused on, expands. And so if I'm focused on optimism, if I'm focused on abundance, I know that I'll generate more abundance, more optimism. And so therefore, I promise myself this week, put this on for yourself, I promise myself to be just as enthusiastic about other people's success as I am about my own success. I promise myself that. And I encourage you, I encourage you, to celebrate others this week. I'd love if you would, I'm asking, please, if you would, put into the chat a story that comes to your mind of a time when you truly felt authentically joyful and happy about someone else's success. And I also challenge you to share this video with at least one person, one person that you know could benefit from more optimism. And I know if we do that today, we will be leaders in transforming our world into a better world, transforming our results into better results, and living into our own version of what it means to be a transformational leader. This is what Monday Morning Mindset's all about, putting on this energy for the week, living into it, and then gathering next Monday for a new Monday Morning Mindset. I look forward to seeing you then. Until then, take care and make it a transformational week. Bye-bye.